for this tutorial i have my fabric here it's a long piece of fabric i have it on fold this way and i also have it on fold this way as well and this is because i'm going to be cutting both the front and the back piece together i'm not going to be doing any shoulder slant shoulder slope no i want the front and the back piece to be together okay so from here all the way down is the length of my top and i already made some markings here the length of the top is 19 inches 19 inches and this includes one inch for my elastic casing so that's 19 inches all the way and then from the center front or the center back to where i want the sleeve to stop is about 20 inches so i already made some markings here but let's just cross check so this is 20 inches as you can see this is 20 inches okay and this is 20 inches as well so i'm just going to extend this into more visible lines coming over to our neck area right for the neck width i'm going to be doing three and a quarter three and a quarter for both the ne neck width for both the front and the back and then for the neck depth for the back i'm going to be coming down by one inch and then for the v-shape effect at the front i'm going to be coming down by seven and a half inches seven and a half inches which is here so i'm just going to connect it so it's visible so at the hemline here because i don't want it to have like a straight all the way straight down effect i'm just going to come in about one inch here which is this and then i will connect from this point okay from this point here all the way to this one inch mark just so that the um waist area is a little bit tapered tapered okay so we are nearly almost done right so i'm going to i need to do or make a mark of like the sleeve opening and the sleeve opening i'm going to be working with is about let's say eight inches eight inches is just fine eight inches is here so when i am cutting this out i'm going to make a notch not like a notch i'm going to you see what i will do i'll just come in about half an inch from here and make a mark but let me just cut this out so you will see so like i said our sleeve opening is eight inches so um unfold so if you open it up you have 16 inches let me just reconfirm that that is not too much yeah i think it's, it's just fine so now i will proceed to cutting so this is what i said i will just make go in about half an inch okay this is what i mean half an inch all right and then in cutting in cutting for the front for the back piece i will just cut out the neckline for the back piece this way okay and then for the front piece what i'm going to do is just open it up like this right and then cut out for the front piece so i'm cutting out on the seven and a half inch mark i made here you can go deeper if you want it's all up to you but i don't want too much cleavage to show so if you fold it back again 
this is exactly what you have okay so i'm just going to open this up and then at this point where i said let me just make this mark visible here where i notched half an inch this is actually our sleeve area so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to take this to my sewing machine right now and then just flip in like about fold in you know that half an inch all the way and run a stitch from this point to this point i will do this for this piece and i'll also do it for this piece after um holding stitching down the sleeve opening this is what yours should look like as you can see i've stitched this down okay i did that for both sides so next thing is to fold it in a way that you have it for both the opened up for both the front and the back okay and you also want to take it to the sewing machine okay and then you hold it down with about half an inch all the way down i'll do that for this and i will do that for here as well and also you will be needing a matching bias to turn your neckline with so i will hold down both sides and then i will turn the neckline with my bias i've turned the neckline now with my bias and this is what it looks like i'm going to give it a very good press so that it's a lot more relaxed okay and then i also stitched down the sides as you can see the next thing is to turn this now to the right side And then at the bottom here, I'm going to create a casing for my elastic, okay? Recollect that I left one inch bending allowance at the bottom here. So I'm going to create a casing that will accommodate this elastic. It's, uh, ha it's half an inch and it's an half an inch elastic okay and then the length of this is going to be my round waist measurement and my waist measurement is 28 inches so i'm just going to measure out 28 inches try not to stretch your elastic it's very important not to stretch it so 28 inches So let me take this to the sewing machine. I will create a casing for it and then I'll pass my elastic through it. So I'm done creating a casing for my elastic as you can see. And I left a one inch opening here um, where I'll pass my elastic through. So next thing is of course get uh, elastic, okay? and then pass it through the opening just like this let me use this hand i will take this to my sewing machine and run multiple stitches here to hold it down so after stitching my elastic, this is what it looks like. I also went ahead to close the one inch opening here so that everything is well tucked. And then I realized I didn't like the bias effects on the neckline. So I had to cut a facing for it. And this is giving a more professional finishing. And then this is what the sleeve opening looks like. This is what the side looks like. And our kimono bubu top um is ready so i hope you found this tutorial useful thank you so much for watching don't forget to please like share and subscribe till my next video bye bye